How's it going everybody? It is Kevin here once again giving you another Road to Ranked video where I upload all 10 matches of a playlist that I'm playing and I'll show you my final rank at the end of the series. This is the Team Slayer map that we're playing on Regret. In this gameplay here, a bit, I suffer a quite a bit from what I like to call tunnel vision. And not necessarily what I call it, but it's a symptom where you see something in front of you, you want to get it, you want it, you want it, you want it, and then you just don't get it anyway. It's because you're not aware of your surroundings. Uh, right here in the beginning of the match, perfect example, I have tunnel vision. I was trying to help out the guy with the fuel rod gun and try to get, uh, see if I can sneak in a kill or something like that. Not paying attention to my radar in the lower left-hand corner, and a guy just smacks me right behind. And so now right here... Try to come back, get some revenge kills, but uh, sadly enough, you know, he's too, he maneuvered too well out of my way. And so now I just got back up and try to uh, regain my shields. Tunnel vision is a very poor thing to have in a shooter, especially in Halo, because, um, yeah, especially on this map also, because this map is a very chaotic one. It's not really one of my favorites, uh, just because there are so many angles to get shot from once you take a step out of this, uh, of the bases, pretty much where the main spawn points are. Uh, so we're here, we're here we spawn on the blue side, and now I see my teammates are kind of all on the uh, by the uh, um, by the red base, and I figured since my, all my team is on the red side, they're probably getting in the gunfights over there. Where I, and I spawned in blue, so I didn't figure there'd be guys behind me, but they spawned right over behind me in blue. Uh, I make a really just kind of dumb Rambo move. Uh, I just kind of figured I was dead, so I just thought I just could lay on as many shots as possible. Uh, in those situations, it's always best to run to your team and so they can hopefully help. Yeah, because right there, I was SOL. And by just sticking around, there really wasn't anything I could get accomplished. Uh, consistently, at least. And I see that a few rods going to spawn up here in 20 seconds. I'm going to try to uh, maintain con top control of a uh, blue slide or uh, overhang, whichever spot you want to call this one. So... Uh, I'm just trying to look around, trying to keep an eye on where my teammates are, see where their the other team is coming from. I don't see my team at all, so uh, I'm a little worried, like, what's going on. There's too many angles up here, so I try to get off this as quickly as possible. But, you know, since I was trying to run off of this location, I run into a player that I did not uh, anticipate. So... That was bad. Right there, you can see I'm cycling through my teammates. Uh, That's just to get better awareness of what is going on around the map. Uh, it's definitely good to do that while you're playing. Uh, just to, you know, the more information you know of the battlefield, the better. Right there, I could have sworn. I'm like, man, come on, give me that headshot. So, you know, I know this guy's one shot. I really want to get that kill. But then, I get surprised. Tunnel vision again strikes me down again because the guy came up behind me and backwhacked me. Then, at this point, I realize, oh, shoot. This is a 3v4 game. And pretty much any time you're in a 3v4 situation in Halo, the team with the lesser amount of players will lose. Right here, it's just a dumb move. I'm playing on tilt because I'm playing like crap. And so I figured just try to lay down some supportive fire. And I get hit right in the face with a fuel rod gun because I, uh, I guess my old age is catching up with me or something. I mean, I'm only 28, but come on. <laughs> Not that old, right? I'm still young. I'm in the prime of my youth. <laughs> And right there, it's a really kind of a tricky move, or not really tricky, but a uh, rather uh, dangerous move, just because I was one shot, but so was the other guy, and I figured that if I had the height advantage, I'd be able to take him out, and surely enough, I was. Um, there, tried to use my, relied on my minimap way too much right there. I, mean, I knew there were guys above me, but I wasn't quite sure how many. And as soon as I saw there was like three guys up there, I'm like, oh yeah, that's not going to work out. We got to jump down here, because uh, as we all know, You'll all, the worst situation you want is a one-on-one -on -one situation or a one-on-one -on -one face off but other than that you don't want uh, 2v1s 3v1s yeah you don't really want you know deal with that um, I not, I think right here I'm just trying to keep an eye on the other enemy, enemy team just because I know that there were apparently they, well at least they were all in blue base and so I'm just trying to hang, hang back a little bit to uh, get a point to where they can you know jump out without me real without realizing I was there. Luckily, this guy completely missed with the fuel rod because I was crouched on the mini-map, so he didn't know I was there until I started shooting at him. The element of surprise is always, always very important when it comes to a first-person shooter. And since I was crouched, you're off the mini-map when you're crouched, and so then the guy did not realize I was there, able to surprise him, get kills. And luckily, like I said, he uh, just missed with the fuel rod gun. Guy had OS, nothing really I could do there, but since I was able to help and lay down some fire... 
he was able to be taken out from behind because uh, my teammate was there. Again, like I always say, using the buddy system in Halo is a very, very important thing. Uh, right here, I, I believe I came try checking out the bottom middle area of the map because this is where the uh, the OS spawns. And I was just trying to pick up like a time like where this is going to spawn because I didn't check when my teammate picked it up when I was earlier cycling through players. Again, when you die, don't just stay on your respawn screen. You'll cycle through your teammates. Make sure you know what is going on because it's not all about you. It's about the team. It's about winning the match. And the best way to win the match is know how your team is doing. And because Halo 5's ranking system is all about wins and losses. Some people were kind of a little, at first I was kind of butthurt about, you know, not having, um, you know, things like personal skill being taken into account. Which, you know, can lead to you being stuck with uh, teammates that are, say, a lot as uh, efficient as you. But, you know, T Halo is a team game. And so the best way to really judge a player's rank is by wins and losses. So I agree with 343 on their decision on this. Right here, you can see that the fuel rod's gonna be up here in a little bit. I am going to keep on keeping an eye on that. Uh, they Apparently the fuel rod is still up though, and that, team, that guy's jumping around trying to get him. I prioritize the guy with the fuel rod first, and so, uh, but he jumped out, he jumped in behind one of the guys that was looking at me, so I tried to reprioritize onto another player. By that point, in those kind of situations, you're really just trying to lay down some fire on teammates just to weaken, or the enemy just to weaken them, so then your teammates can come by and pick them up. Again, right there, perfect example, using the buddy system, you know, you follow along with your team, but not, you know, holding hands, but, you know, you want to be close enough to where you can be, you know, help out your team at a moment's notice, and so... That's really what I'm trying to do. Wanted to do a ground pound move on that guy that was running up, but uh, sadly enough, <laughs> he was killed before I could take, do the cool ground pound move. This part in the Billy Sims game are really fun. I gotta admit, like I, I was kind of worried that they'd be kind of you know just like a replacement for the get out of jail free card that you know a lot of times you hear that term being used with uh, sprints, but um, you know it actually is rather well balanced. There I got double teamed, one guy with the overshield, so I I didn't prioritize the guy with the overshield because obviously. There was no chance for me killing him, and I figured I'd at least try to take out one guy with uh, those weak shields. So I was able to do that, and also since my teammate was close by, he was able to help me do that. Uh, I decided just to run away from the situation because I know multiple red guys are in red base, and one of them has a fuel rod. And they also have the height advantage. It's just it's just not a good thing to do. So I run back to my team to help, you know, if, help them out if anything is needed. This guy just completely surprised me. And so I back off and let my teammates clean them up. Again, perfect example. Buddy system, bros. Come on. <laughs> it's all about that teamwork. And so we can see that the next fuel rod's spawning up here in 20 seconds. Uh, that guy was hiding over there. No one was really making a move for him. I was kind of hurt. I'm sure other guys were. So I decided to just throw a nade rather than go after him. Because, um, you know, I had that advantage of the situation because I had a nade. He had some areas where the nade could get caught on. And so then I figured just throw one rather than run over and try to shoot him. Just because, you know, then you don't have the randomness of saying, like, he might see you on the radar. He may jump up and move somewhere and just completely surprise you. All right. So now we're in red base running around the field right. I see on the minimap there's a guy right here. I wait for him to land to um, finally shoot my shot. But uh, apparently that wasn't a lethal of enough shot. Sadly, but uh, I was able to help my, help out my teammate and get a kill there. Here's one kill, and there's two kills, and now I'm getting attacked. I guarantee this guy's gonna rush after me. He does, but he does not realize I have the fuel rod. I have the power. But <laughs> uh, sadly enough, I just got overran. There's just too many red guys, not enough blue guys, and that's you know some people think of this as a really big issue with Halo 5. Um, I made a commentary about this earlier, talking about how. You know, some people feel that there needs to be joining session in progress when it comes to, uh, you know, Halo 5 ranking matchmaking just because they feel that, um, you know, having the player just in the match will make things more fair. But the thing is, though, a lot of times when you join a match, it's because the other team is losing. And so that's the only reason why that spot would be available. Uh, no one wants to leave a winning match because they all count and they make your rank go up higher. So and everyone wants to prove how awesome they are in online gaming, right, by boasting about your ranking, so ranking position. I agree here, I join up with my teammate and do some crouch moving. I don't know why he's crouching, but I'm crouching anyways, just in case if he has a plan about being kind of sneaky on a move, he may know something that I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't have any communication with these guys. I'm just playing with just randoms. And so, 
it's always a good thing to see if you're if you see a teammate trying to use some kind of tactic of you know trying to be sneaky or you know trying something out like that you know you want to help them out with that and so you can get a double surprise on the first shot on let's say like a red guy in this match or something like that you know don't you always got to take into account what other players are doing um i see it so many times especially uh that you know people are very concerned about their own personal well-being when it comes to a shooter when really Especially in Halo 5, since all it is is all about the wins and losses, you got to keep a, you know, an eye out what your teammates are doing to help them out, not have your teammates help you out. But it's just a mentality kind of thing I've kind of grown to uh, appreciate when it comes to Halo 5. And it's one of the few games where it actually kind of be helps you, benefits you by um, sticking with your team rather than just playing for yourself. Um, I saw the guy move up the uh, ramp here. I just have really poor aim. And he surprised me with that uh, that pulse grenade, and so it kind of it blocked me from moving forward, which I think is a great thing about those nades. It's a really unique thing. Sadly enough, we lost the match. Uh, even though we were down one player from majority of, from pretty much the entire match, we held in. I did not exactly do the best, but anyways, that's the end of the gameplay, guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything from the uh, a bad game, because that's when we really all learn is um you know please make sure to tap that like button it greatly helps out the channel subscribe for more awesome halo cut yeah sorry content and i'll catch you in the next video guys peace out